It looks like Wyland's trying to bring the squad back. The 10 year or probably like three year reunion for Slay World. And that encompasses summers, autumn, Yeet was kind of in it at the tail end, Can Can, obviously Wyland, Goonie, and some others. Now, people are asking me my opinion on this matter. Do I really care? Honestly, no. I never really thought Wyland's music was that good anyway. I feel like he went off into the forest, talked to nobody for three years ever since Slay World disbanded. He was doing like the 80s disco or more electronic, let's say professional sound, working with Mike Dean among others. And honestly, it just didn't work. Like the underground fan base didn't care. That's not what got you popular in the first place. So now what is he doing? He's going back to what worked from the beginning. I feel like a lot more rappers should take heed of this advice. Now, do I think this is going to work? Not necessarily, but I'm just saying rappers tend to try and progress past what fans are ready for or what they even like. And that goes for even really 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 popular rappers that yes they have mainstream success but like their music has gotten pretty much mediocre but what i don't understand is that wyland is basically doing the exact thing that can can was dissing yeet over where he went and did like the quote unquote white people music and now he's coming back trying to work with the artist that he once was in a rap collective with essentially trying to get like his fans back or at least that's what i would think because i haven't heard wyland's name at least in the underground scene for a long time so why is it a problem that yeet's doing it or attempting to but not with wyland because apparently can can and all the other people who were once part of slay world are reposting it it seems that the only actual difference is that yeet is mainstream and, and essentially a celebrity at this point but aside from all that yes it's cool to see this reunion of all of the rappers who were super popular and honestly the beginning of this new underground music era because in 2016 i know everybody calls that the original underground soundcloud era but really none of those rappers were underground because they were already signed to deals or like already up big time because that was the inception of internet music in a way so it all blew up so fast before people could even be underground in my opinion underground culture kind of started in 2019 because even x i know he was underground in like 20 15 through 17 but look how big he got so fast like he wasn't underground for that long other than when he was going through his legal troubles but something to know about how successful this reunion will be yes it'll get numbers from the very beginning people interested in hearing what was once a great time period however i feel like we're in the next era of the underground where we got like ian laser dim net spend osama sun like i'm not gonna say that these rappers are necessarily washed. I'm just saying they're not the new kids on the block. They're not in the spotlight of the underground. I don't think that the new kids of the underground really care all too much about this group. Now, the old fans from like underground 2019 who have been in it for a while, sure. But all these rappers are grown men at this point have grown apart, maybe distant friends, but they probably have their own creative processes and places that they live. So I don't know. I just feel like the energy might be a little bit off. Like they definitely are eager to get back into it, but will it really amount to much? I don't think so nor do i really care either because i was never really into these rappers like that anyway yes i fuck with summers and can can and even autumn sometimes because i feel like he's an actual musician and that he produces all of his songs as well but i feel like they're past their their prime in a way so coming from an old geezer i can tell you i don't even care that much but with all that being said Y'all let me know in the comments what you think. Do you care about this Slay World reunion? Is this gonna break down barriers? Was their music really that good when you go back to it? I could be wrong. It's been your boy Bob and Lamb signing off. Inviting myself to the Slay World reunion. I'll bring the cake, or sorry, the perks. And of course, make sure to like and subscribe to the Bob game if you witty. Peace out, God. Nice scene.